It's hilarious that liberals keep constantly obsessing on ways to bring President Trump down, where their efforts only wind up backfiring and uncovering the very same corruption they keep accusing conservatives of. One of the slimy liberal politicians who's been making headlines lately is the socialist old dinosaur Bernie Sanders, and his crooked wife Jane. We recently learned that Jane received a shady loan to the tune of $10 million while she was running the Burlington College, where the FBI is now investigating her for falsifying documents to obtain money for the now-defunct Liberal Arts College. But unfortunately for this crooked couple, an FBI investigation was only the tip of the iceberg, as a grand jury is now making their move with a brutal smackdown that would not only crush Bernie's chance of running against Trump in 2020, but could send Jane to prison for quite some time. Nothing kills a political aspiration boner quicker than a federal investigation, and for Bernie Sanders, that's exactly what's happening. Over the past six weeks FBI agents have launched a full-scale investigation into the couple's illegal antics over the years, and the information they've found was so damning that it's evoked response from a grand jury that's now making their move to make the couple pay dearly for their crimes. According to Judicial Watch, underscore mid a deepening federal investigation of Jane Sanders, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders' wife. Judicial Watch has obtained records that paint rather disturbing personal portrait of a heartless spouse, and longtime political advisor, of the Democratic Socialist candidate for President of the United States. During the Obama administration, the FBI began investigating Jane for falsifying documents to obtain a $10 million loan to expand an out-defunct liberal arts college in a town where her husband once served as mayor while she was the school's president. Underscore. Fox News reports that any political future Sanders had for 2020 is rapidly deteriorating, as these FBI agents have unearthed massive evidence of Sanders' involvement with bank fraud. And unfortunately for Sanders and his shady wife, Trump's Justice Department isn't playing around. The Justice Department official spearheading the investigation is being handled at the discretion of Christina E. Nolan, who was sworn into office last week after being appointed by President Trump. According to Fox News, this is not only a huge blow to Bernie's political aspirations, but could affect his daughter's race as the mayor of Burlington, Vermont. They reported, the ongoing probe and the potential for a grand jury review might be enough to impede Bernie Sanders and Driscoll's political plans. Politico reported last month that Sanders was angling toward a more mainstream candidacy heading into the 2020 presidential election and reaching out to key Democrats to solidify his support among the party machine. Driscoll, the stepdaughter of the senator announced Monday her plans to run for her stepfather's first political job, Mayor Burlington, VT. A spokesperson for Bernie Sanders did not respond to Fox News' request for a comment. Driscoll declined to comment. Now the question is, what did Bernie and his wife do with this $10 million dollar loan if the school is defunct? Frankly from Freedom Daily had a pretty good hypothesis on where the cash went. He reported, what a liberal sack of potatoes she is. Where did the money go if the school is defunct? I know they don't pay teachers that much money, so where did Jane and Bernie school all of the money? Did they buy any new homes or expensive cars during this time? Is it in their bank account? Can we file a right to know information on their purchases after the time they receive the bully loan? It looks like this time the DC circle jerk isn't going to protect Bernie and his crooked wife since it's Trump's Justice Department leading the investigation. How epic would it be for those crooked morons to spend the rest of their lives behind bars for fraud? What's even more hilarious is that liberals are already hurting for viable candidates to run against Trump in 2020, and having Bernie out of the race would be a massive blow to their plans of unseating Trump in the next election. Thank you.